So word on the street is that this Roadkill Cafe behind me is a great place to stop and eat. We're in Seligman and we are ready for lunch, so let's go in and grab a bite. All right, so the Roadkill Cafe is a pretty fun dining adventure. Um, it also has the OK Saloon inside, which we'll talk about in just a minute. But um, this is a great place to stop along historic Route 66. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner, um, so it's definitely worth the stop. The food is amazing. Um, the names are <laughs> a little bit, uh, will throw you off a little bit. We'll talk about that in just a moment. As you can see out here, um, there's lots of fun things to look around. Uh, you can also walk into the uh, old jail, and this isn't the original one, but you can walk around in here. This is um, a pretty fun place to just run around in, take some pictures, all that kind of fun stuff as you walk around the property. And then we we'll go inside, you can see the extensive menu, look at all these different burger options. We decided to go with the Swirl of Squirrel, which don't worry, didn't have any squirrel in it that we know of. Um, it was made with beef, but the OK Saloon um, and the Arizona Territorial Jail. It was filled, uh, this area is filled with all kinds of antiques from the Old West. Um, there's lots of opportunities to take pictures and to shop for souvenirs and all that kind of good stuff. So all in all, it's a very good experience. You get to see a lot of neat things. They have a lot of items here that have been preserved and um, redone. And don't worry, the You Kill It, We Grill It is just a slogan they don't actually still do that <laughs> Then we headed down the street to Delgadillo's Snowcap Drive-In. This place was so much fun. Uh, the staff here makes it a blast, and you can tell already from the outside that it's uh, quite an eclectic experience <laughs> when you come in here. Um, so we had a good time on this property as well. Hey guys, well, we got a little sweet tooth after our lunch. We split a burger over at the Roadkill Cafe, so we're over here at uh, Snowcap, and we're gonna try some of their either ice creams or shakes. We haven't decided yet, but we'll show you what we choose. So uh, Delgadillo's was actually built in 1953 by a local resident, Juan Delgadillo, um, and he was working on a very limited budget, so he built the restaurant mostly from scrap lumber. This is the orange, orange malt. It's really good. Mm. Is that it for you guys? Yes. Yeah. Delgadillo's flair for showmanship extended to his menu, which still features such choices as cheeseburger with cheese and uh, dead chicken. <laughs> so like I said, you'll have a fun experience here. The staff is full of uh, jokes and the food here is amazing, even though we just shared a malt and an ice cream. 